And sports sports director Ben Higgins will have uh, more highlights from the game live at Qualcomm. Weather Aid certified San Diego's most accurate forecast. This is 10 News Pinpoint Weather. It does leave a funny feeling in your stomach when you think about what could be the end. Yeah. We're talking about the weather, though, yeah. how things are going to be for this week and our big holiday that's coming up. Big holiday. Lots going up and winter officially starts tomorrow, Riel. And I saw that guy driving around today. Very nice to see you. All right, so we have a couple of storms to talk about. The coldest air we've seen this season arrives this week and I'll tell you when exactly. Let's get started with our Mount Woodson shot. Nice out there. Gorgeous sunset just moments ago. Here's from downtown looking across the bay. You can see the clouds off in the distance. This is not the storm I'm talking about. They're just clouds coming in ahead of a storm that's going to miss us. 61 right now at Lindbergh west southwest winds at five miles per hour, so not real gusty, not real windy. Lots of 40s and 30s already from Palomar Mountain over to Warner Springs. Julian, Mount Laguna, one degree above freezing. 53 right now in Poway. El Cajon, 55. Chula Vista, you're 57. The desert's mostly just right around 60. Highlights for the week ahead. All right, winter solstice begins tomorrow at 848 local time p.m. We'll have some light showers on Tuesday. The coldest air that's going to, that we've had so far this season arrives Christmas Eve and will be with us Christmas Day. I know, right? It'll be a uh, white winter for the higher elevations and a couple of light sprinkles for the rest of us. Here's what I'm looking at right now. So tomorrow, clouds, a good breeze coming through, nothing real significant. Nice if you've got some shopping to do. Storm number one, that's where those clouds are coming from. That does not affect us. That's going to go right past us. Storm number two slides right in its heels and comes our direction and gives us some light scattered showers on Tuesday. Another one, not on this map is right behind it, and that's going to bring us some very cold air drop right in from Canada. Good Arctic blast. It's rare for us to get frost along the coast. I won't be surprised if we get frost along the coast on Christmas Day. That's how cold the system is. Not a lot of rain with it, but very cold. So broken down light showers Tuesday, sprinkles on Wednesday. The coldest air we've seen this season arrives on Christmas Day, and then it's out of here. Let's just look at the wave heights. It's very interesting. Some seven to you know six foot waves, especially for the south. All right, so tonight we drop down to 39 in Escondido. We'll stay with those 20s and 30s for the higher elevations. Poway down to 38. Your highs tomorrow mostly low to mid 60s, 50s, low to mid 50s for the higher elevations. And here is your extended forecast. I'll let you absorb this for a bit. Winter <laughs> begins tomorrow, 62 for a high at the coast. Again, light sprinkles, breezy on Thursday. Look at the high Friday, 56, and look at the overnight low, 35. That is rare for the coast, and I'm probably the coldest around, and you're going to notice that on the forecast. Your seven-day inland numbers, we gradually cool off 58 on Thursday. Friday, 56, overnight low at 30. So I think we'll have some freeze across some of the colder spots Friday morning and Saturday morning. Seven-day forecast, 40s for the mountains tomorrow, 60s for the deserts. Yeah, it's a good one. You know what? You're going to have to make this up to us next week. Okay, okay you got it. <laughs> All right. I'll do it. Thanks, Greg. <laughs>